Kanye West says the recent developments with his billionaire status ending after his Adidas deal was cut short is God humbling him, and he now knows what it feels like having a knee on his neck. Being humbled by God is the best thing that can ever happen to someone. As sinful and fallen humans, we resist the threshing of God because we oftentimes would like to stay stagnant and to not be stretched. But in those come to Jesus moments, that is typically when true breakthrough happens. God displays his power by humbling the proud. James 4, 6 states, but he gives a greater grace. Therefore, it says, God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Kanye West made several inflammatory comments about the death of George Floyd, where he claimed that Floyd had not been killed by police brutality despite a jury finding ex-officer Derek Chauvin guilty of the murder of Floyd, but that high doses of drugs killed him. In an interview posted, Kanye again apologized for his comments about Floyd and even had a reaction to his own cancellation by corporations and businesses. I question the death of George Floyd. It hurt my people. I want to apologize for hurting the black people, he said. God is showing me that by what Adidas is doing and by what the media is doing, I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now, he added. So I thank you, God, for humbling me and letting me know how it really felt because how could the richest black man be humbled other than be made to not be a billionaire in front of everyone over one comment? Wes said, I'm not surprised by what God is allowing in Kanye's life. Not to say that Ye has not suffered injustices or that his opinions don't matter, but when you have a tendency to think that you are a God and that everyone else is beneath you, that's when God begins his work on bringing you back to reality and making sure that you know that he gives and he can take away. If you have not checked it out, I actually made a video specifically about Kanye humbling himself and praying that God would supernaturally show up in his life and humble him. The video is on the interview Ye had with Pierce Morgan asking him how much he was worth. I'll link the video in the comments below so you can check it out. Ye also stated that he was somewhat being ruled by his insecurities as well, which I talked about in the previous video. Kanye's business and personal life began unraveling earlier this month after he debuted a White Lives Matter t-shirt at his Yeezy fashion show in Paris, which caused outrage among the black community. Some fans felt the shirt strengthened racist white supremacist groups that used the slogan to counteract the Black Lives Movement against police brutality. As West doubled down on his statement, he also made several anti-Semitic statements while lashing out at specific people he targeted for bullying using his Instagram account. West claimed to be a Jew, and after he was called out, he threatened Death Com 3 on Jews, leading to widespread backlash and Adidas ending their billion dollar deal. Days later, he issued an apology to the Jewish community. I want to apologize and say I am sorry for the Jewish people that I hurt. He said as he explained that he did not mean to be hurtful against Jews and that he felt we are all Jews as children of God. I'm sorry for hurting you as a Jewish people. I'm sorry for the way that made you feel. And I'm sorry for the entire population of a race that I feel is actually my brother as I classify. And I'm also connected with Christ in that way. And that my people came from Africa in that way, Kanye continued. I also encourage every one of you to be wise when it comes to your life, whether it's about money or anything else. God has a funny sense of humor and has the power to humble you when you least expect it. We all have the capacity to allow our pride and ego to rule our lives. My prayer is that you remain grateful to God and thank him for the opportunities that he's given to you because it all can be taken away in the blink of an eye. Let me hear from you. What are your thoughts on Ye? And have you ever been ruled by the riches of the world? And is it easy to be deceived by these material possessions? Feel free to contact me at lifecoachjscott at gmail.com to discuss any personal development struggles that you may be having. Thanks again for your support and always strive to remain set apart. Mm -hmm.